So, these guys are the producers right here. So, tell us about what's gonna happen first. Tell us about what actually is going on. What's up guys, what's happening, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and more importantly, welcome back to another special edition vlog. Woo! I'm really excited about today's vlog because today I am heading over to Posh Entertainment and I know how much you guys love the Posh vlogs and uh, I'm gonna be meeting up with Mikey B and the guys from 2DB. And we're actually linking up to work on a little social experiment that we are working on. We're actually making a full blown production with the guys from 2DB, so we're gonna need your help we're gonna need you guys to vote on this. So uh, get ready because it's gonna be crazy unlike you've ever seen. We're getting into production and we're getting into it right now. What's up, bro? How are you guys? This is why I love it. It's your idea, Mike. Why don't you tell them what we're doing? <laughs> <laughs> Alright everybody, we're here at the Posh offices and we're launching a brand new, uh, what do you want to call this? A brand new, like, kind of experiment. experiment. We're here with Mikey B. This is the man behind the idea. We're going to get into it in just a little bit. And then we have 2DB, everybody here, right here. Yeah, what up? We have Danny and Brendan. Mikey B. What's up, Bar? Talk us through this. What's up? What's going on? Thank you for joining us. It's just a passion experiment of mine. I have absolutely no idea of anything when it comes to production. Played around with Ableton, but I've ever, never actually made my own full track. However, these two gentlemen right here, 2DB, have. I was just thinking in my head, like, you know, how could we produce a track and have all the people on Bar's channel help out? So I came up with some weird experiment, making this like a, a social production experiment. So basically, I would ask 2DB, like, what are the, the elements that go into producing a track? Like, what do you need? Chords, leads, juicy drops, what goes into making a track? And then, as they're making the tracks, have these guys produce four of their favorite chord progressions and then open it up to all the amazing DJs on Bar's channel who have an amazing ear for music. They know what sounds good because they play to private parties or clubs every weekend. So who's a better judge of good music than the actual DJs playing it for hundreds of people. Let them tell you what sounds good and what doesn't, and then the winner of round one, we would move that to round two, introduce the next element in a track, bring it to bars people, let them tell you what's good or what's not, and then move forward. So basically, this, this whole track would be uh, produced by not only 2DB, but also a collaboration with bars amazing subscribers. Is this track gonna be a, a, a billboard hit? No, but I am curious to see the results. I mean, what could go wrong at the end of it? Either you're gonna have another track that doesn't get played like all the other millions of tracks out there, or you might actually have something decent. I like how the top line of where this could go <laughs> is decent. <laughs> no, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. So here's how it's gonna work, guys. Basically, these guys are gonna build a song. They're gonna build each layer of the song. We're gonna start from the bottom, from nothing. You guys are gonna vote which part you like first. You guys will preview the track, and you guys will say, "Hey, this is what I like." And then the following week, they're gonna build the second part. They're gonna build on top of that. Third week, we build on top of that until we have a completed song. Is that the gist of it? That is the gist of it. These guys are the producers right here. So tell them a little bit more about what 2DB is all about so that people know a little bit of history behind the producers. So we recently got together as 2DB. Obviously I'm Danny, he's Brandon. We geared ourselves towards more like radio remixes and we actually got back from Miami not too long ago. We won two remix awards down there. One for Perfect and one for Rising Remixer of the Year. And also coming up for Summer Sessions, we just got nominated for you know Best Remixer of the Year as well down there. Did you know that they remixed Ed Sheeran that got played all over? The radio? Yeah, the yeah. biggest remix is what would you guys call it? Perfect? That was easily like our biggest remix. What are you guys using? What's the process that you guys are going through? Producing wise, I mean I was on Ableton for the longest time and Oh you're not on Ableton. We are I thought now everybody's fully on, on logic. Fully on logic. Really? Yep. I thought everybody was on Ableton. Nope. No, it took me two years to pull them off it. But. Yeah. Wow. It finally got me to a point where I was like, this 
<laughs> Why did you go to Logic and leave Ableton? Because Ableton is the fan favorite, right? I think it has the the appearance of being a fan favorite, but the more people you talk to, the more people you find that use Logic. I was on Ableton for the longest time. Once I switched over to Logic and really got to know Logic, I fell in love with it. Everything down to the mastering and mixing was just, for me, a thousand times easier. I think the UI is a lot better on Logic, personally. I, I think it flows way better. I don't have to think as much. As far as synths go, we use uh, Serum, uh, we have Nexus. Um, those are pretty much our main two. You guys don't clash yeah, when you guys are in the studios? You guys. Hour. Never. You you guys are pretty on the same page. We feed we feed yeah. off each other really well. Actually. We know really we know each, yeah. we know each other's strengths and weaknesses. And right, we, and we we're we're pretty able to tell um, when one of us is on a roll with something and has an idea, and we kind of know to just step back and let the other one run with it. Who are some artists that we can relate to so that people can kind of get an idea of like maybe what the finished product might be. I'm thinking more towards like Showtech or Mike Williams. Like Big Room? Yeah. yeah. That was pretty much kind of where we where we landed when we were talking about the, the concept for this video um, or the series was that it was most likely going to end up being a Big Room track. Where can people find your stuff? So all of our uh, remixes, um, or at least all the like all the unofficial remixes go up on our website, 2dbofficial.com. There will be a link in the bio. I am certain of that. Um, you don't know that. <laughs> 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 the whole idea is to make this a social production, right? These guys go into the studio, they tinker around, there's little pieces. I want your fans, your subscribers to choose each level of the track and produce it themselves. So they're going to show you four samples, you're going to pick the samples, whichever sample gets picked, the, the favorite moves on to the next round and gets added with another element. So at the end of the track, your fans, all of your subscribers, whoever participates, will get credit for produ producing. So, uh, how many steps are we talking about? How many steps is there going to be? We narrowed it down to six. Six so, steps. So, what are the six steps? Week one is going to be chord progression. Week two, the synth for the chord progression. Week verse, three, verse leads. Week four, drop leads. Week five, drums. And then week six, that'll be our completed product. Yep. yep. And uh, maybe we'll give you guys a little bit of insight into. Uh, what went on in the mix and master. We'll put together kind of like a montage of everything of the whole song coming together at the end. What's going on today? You want to show us a preview a little bit? Play a little preview. Okay. Here's the first sample we have. It's important to note that, uh, right guys, it's not going to sound like this. This is just right. the notes in order, like the melody of it, and then the next round you're actually going to give us four different uh, sounds in that in that chord progression. You want to know my favorite? My favorite was track four. It definitely stood out than the other three. In fact, I'm going to go on record and say that I think that's going to be the fan favorite. However, I'd like them to vote. I want to see how close you guys are to, to hearing the public ear. I think they're going to go towards something that's more familiar to, to them, which I think they're going to choose three. But if I had to choose one, four is my favorite. Four? What about you? Yeah, the same way. I think what I like and what I think they're going to choose are different. I like four, just like Danny and Mike said. Um, but I think they're probably gonna go with two. With two? Oh, you yeah. said two. He said three. Yeah. yeah. So we have three, oh, wow. two, and four. Yes. What's the process? What do you need the people out there watching? What do you need them to do? They just need to click the link in your description and okay. vote on their favorite one. Survey Monkey and link. There will be four samples that they can listen to, and they just have to pick one as their favorite. The options of the that are available to making this track, if I'm not mistaken, are compounded. So like, if the first round you have four options and we only pick one to move on. And then there's four variables of that. Next round is four variables, you get it, and so on. So what is that? Six rounds of four variables. So it's four times four times four times four times four times four. So there's a one, after this is all done, we're gonna have a one in 4,096 Damn. track. Right? This is the best track of 4,096 possible options. I hope your crowd finds it interesting. They have to. I know yes. it's gonna be one of the weakest views. I don't want it to be like the weakest view and like, Mike, this is a stupid idea. In fact, do you think this idea is gonna work? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, he's been toying around with this idea. <laughs> I just want to thank Bar for taking the opportunity to help me out with this idea. It's been a passion of mine. I'm not getting any credit for this. Like, I just, I just was curious to see what would happen with a fan-powered production track. If you think this is gonna work, leave a leave a comment below. Am I out of my mind? Is this? All right. So, uh, we're gonna need your help, guys. We're gonna need you guys to vote. We're gonna need you guys to stay tuned. We're gonna release this every week for the next what is it? Six weeks. We're going. Six weeks. So please, 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 guys, help us out. Help all of us out by voting. We're gonna leave links in the description. And if you wanna chime in where you think the track should go, please, please, please let us know down in those comments below. That's gonna help us out a ton. Please. Do we have anything else to say? Please. 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 <laughs> please. If, if any of your fans know of 2DB and they link their remixes, shoot them an email and they'll give you a custom drop with your name. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. And follow us on Instagram. At That's CW right. Official. CW. These guys are legit, man. They don't play around. So I'll link them right there. Check them out. So the idea of this experiment is 2DB wants to collab with Bayardo's viewers, who are all DJs, who all have a great year for music. So they're going to come up with four samples that they think are going to go in the next record, and you're going to pick which one you think should go in that record, and then you're going to trash the bottom three. So every week moving forward, we will get the best sounding 2DB as per Bayardo's faithful subscribers and I think the end product will be interesting bangers bangers super banger super banger ring that bell, <laughs> ring that that's, bell. How, that's how I want you to end the video like if you put like a, like an ending like I don't know if you have like an ending animation or something but right after that just Mike with don't forget to hit the smash the subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell and now you gotta tell them to vote 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 Vote. Make sure you vote. 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 It's down there. It's down there. Alright, got it.